trying to do in this video is we are looking at these two graphs and then we have to point out the absolute max min and then local max and min and then the leader so first one first picture can you tell me where the absolute max are so the absolute max we are looking for the highest y right so the highest y is x equals to when x equals to s we have the highest y right and then the lowest y is when x is equals to r and then what about local max the top of the hill top of the hill is x equals to c right so when x is equals to c we are at the top of the hill what about local minimum so local minimum bottom of the hill so we have x equals to r what else and x is equals to b this point counts because that is also a critical point at that point one thing that we know that at that point is f prime of b is undefined although that is undefined we still consider that as a critical point and then when x is less than b the slope is decreasing and when x is equals to b the slope is uh, undefined when x is greater than b the slope is increasing so we have going down undefined and then going up then we have a local minimum so the rest are neither so which is x equals to a and x is, is equals to d so they are neither not mass and mean at all and then moving on to the picture on the right so we are looking for absolute max absolutely the highest y ever so that will be x is equals to r and then the lowest y value so that will be x equals to a and then what about local max the top of the hill so we have one point right so that will be x equals to r and then the bottom of the hill so that will be x equals to d and then the rest x equals to c x equals to s x equals to b they are not max and mean at all so that will be the first part and then we have two more pop pictures for you so right there same thing look at the picture i want you to tell me the absolute max and min the local max and min so to make the reading easier let's put the numbers to on, on the graph so we have x equals to one x equals to two three four five and six so this is one two three four all right so the first one i am looking for the highest by value so that will be here right so this is the highest y value so the point is when x is equals to 4 y is equals to 4 so that is the absolute maximum and then what about the lowest y value the lowest y value is right here right is this a solid point the answer is no so that means if you ask me to give you an absolute min uh, this point looks like an absolute min but x when x is equals to 7 y is undefined so this will be none and then local max the top of a hill so local max uh what 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 do we have we have um we have a uh, local max so we have four when x is equals to four. Oh, hold on hold on hold on hold on when x is equals to 4, I think there is a problem in, in, in the numbering, but we can fix that pretty easily. So this one, they started at 1. I should not do, repeat the 1. So that is 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that means when x is equals to 4, y is equals to 5. All right. So the local max, we have the top of the hill. So that will be 4, comma 5. And then what else? And also six comma four, right? So six comma four. And then what about local minimum? Local minimum. So we have the bottom of the hill. So that will be two comma two. And then also we have a uh, five comma three. So they are both the bottom of the hill. And also uh, at this point. So we have a horizontal tangent when x is equals to 1 and then uh, but how come that is not a uh, local maximum? How come I did not include 1 comma 4? The reason is when x is equals to 1, the function is undefined. So that means that point doesn't even exist. So that means we do not include this. So that will be all for the 
first one. And then moving on to the picture on the right. So where is the absolute maximum? Absolute maximum is the highest y value, which looks like it's right here, right? So before we we, we jump into the xy xy coordinate, let's fill up the blank. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is one, two, one, two, three, four, and five. So absolute maximum, it is supposed to be right here, right? So the biggest y value is five, but the function is not even defined at that point, so the absolute maximum is none. And then the absolute minimum, we are looking for the smallest y value, so that will be y is equals to 1, right? So y is equals to 1, we have a point right here, so that will be x equals to 4, y is equals to 1. And then local max, the top of the hill, so we have a 3, 4, right? And a 6, 3. So we have a 3, 4 and a 6, 3. And then the local minimum, the bottom of a hill, we have 4, 1. And then what else? And then that's it. Alright, so that will be all in this video. I will see you all in the next one.